Hello and welcome to a new episode of Mobile Video Editing. In this episode, I'll show you how to create the eye zoom transition. To create this effect, you will need a video of an eye that after blinking stays open for a short time and then it zooms in. Try to find footage where there is a light reflection in the eye. You'll see that it makes the effect better. You will also need a video to end the transition. This effect works better if the subject in the video is in the center of the screen. 4K footage is recommended because you will be zooming in. In desktop editors, the eye zoom transition can be created using masking and soft edges, both features that currently are not present in LumaFusion. To overcome this limitation, you will be using a video that looks like this. So let's get started. Start a new project in LumaFusion and add the video of the eye to the main track. Add a title to the track above this video. Edit the title you just added, remove the text and add a rectangle that covers the entirety of the screen. Now, you guessed it, change the four color of the rectangle to green. Next, add a circle. Resize the circle so it covers most of the screen, but leave some room in the top and bottom as shown. Change the four color of the circle to magenta. Go to color and effects, add the chroma key effect and set the key color to magenta. Now you can see the eye in the track below. Exit back to the timeline and add a new title to the topmost track. Edit the title you just added, remove the text and add a circle. Now, change the opacity of the four color of the circle to zero. Change the opacity of the edge color of the circle to 100 and change the width to 100 as well. Using the color picker, select the color of the edge of the iris as shown. Move the circle in this video so it fits the circle showing the eye as shown. Clone the circle and make it slightly smaller to create a thicker edge. Now go to color and effects and set the Gaussian 10 effect. Exit back to the timeline. Delete the video of the eye and instead add the video with the center subject that will be used to end the transition. Export your project it will look like this. Now open a new LumaFusion project. Add the video of the eye to the main track in the timeline and the video you just exported to the track above it. You'll need to position the exported video in the timeline so it starts after the eye blinks and is fully open. Edit the exported video Go to the Color and Effects tab and apply the chroma key effect. Go to Frame and Fit and in Blending, reduce the opacity to about 30%. Make sure you are at the beginning of the video. Resize and position the video so it fits the iris, but it is a bit smaller than it, as shown. The edge of the circle and the edge of the iris have the same color, so they should blend nicely. Using keyframes, as the video of the eye zooms in, keep the size of the iris and the size of the circle in your video overlay the same, up to the point where the iris fully fits in the screen. Advance the time scroll to the point where the iris fully covers the screen. Increase the size of the video overlay so you see the contents of the video inside the circle, but you don't see the circle any longer. This is how it looks now. Next, go to blending and ensure that you are at the beginning of the video. Start with a low opacity. In this video is about 9% at a keyframe. Advance the time scroll to the point where the iris fully fits the screen. Increase the opacity to about 25%. A 
Advance the time scroll to the point where the iris fully covers the screen and increase the opacity to 100%. Now, let's check the results. I would like to point you to a video from iOS Productions that uses a different method to create an effect similar to this one. The link is in the description of this video. So this is it for this episode. Please feel free to leave a comment, share your ideas, like and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one.